here we go again. Episode 2, Married at First Sight. Our next two couples are Morag and Luke and Matt and Daniel. Matt and Daniel being the first gay couple in the history of UK Married at First Sight. Let's start with Morag. If I do recall, she's 31. She comes across very emotional, but I'm not too sure that's actually her personality because she's had a lot in the family of late. Um, She lost her father very recently. So I feel we're not seeing her full personality come across yet. Um, you, You see little clips where she's very bubbly. She's an Essex girl, so normally very bubbly. Um, happy-go-lucky type of personality but we haven't quite seen her blossom yet she's had two failed serious relationships the first guy cheated on her the second guy oh god what was it um oh she found that she was molding herself into something he wanted so she wasn't being her authentic self with him so that's very interesting her usual type of men are ones that are rugged, manly, with hair on their chest. She's chosen wrong in the past, so hopefully the matchmakers can find Mr Right for her. Fast forward, when Morag announced that she was getting married, she did this in front of a group of girlfriends. I'm not sure whether any of her relatives were present, and they were very much in shock. They were like, what? Oh my God. Yeah, that type of reaction. So, yeah, that was really it for her. Next we have Luke. Luke is 36. His last relationship was two years ago. From that breakup, it knocked his confidence. His self-esteem seems quite low. Um... Yeah, so he's been trying to work on himself in the past two years and still a little bit timid. But hopefully, again, the matchmakers can find somebody that will bring him out of his shell. And that somebody happens to be Morag. So this is going to be quite interesting for somebody that's so bubbly and confident and, yeah, very sort of um, party type girl. Hmm. And he's the total opposite. This is going to be interesting. But at the same time, it may be what he needs and what she needs. Fast forward to when Luke told his mum that he was getting married. She was in in shock. She She did look a little worried for him, to be honest, and totally gobsmacked. She really doesn't want her little boy to be hurt again. So I can understand that. But at the same time, she's trying to put on a brave face, trying to let it all sink in, because this is what he wants. Next, we have the first of our gay couple, who is Matt, and he is 39. He comes across as a sensitive guy, emotional, romantic. He's looking for the whole fairy tale, the 3.4 kids, Yeah, and a lot of the time, the relationships he's had in the past, initially, he's gone into them thinking that this is the one, they've said they wanted children, and then as the relationship has progressed, he's found out that they never really wanted children. So, that's a hard pill to swallow. So hopefully, again, the matchmakers can find him, somebody that's on his same level, that's looking for the same things and is not giving him BS. Fast forward to when Matt told his parents he was getting married. His mum asked him how, because she didn't understand the concept of the show, so he had to explain it to her. And when he did, she did look really worried to think, why, why would you do this? The dad didn't have any words. It looked like, The mum was the spokeswoman. And her last words were, if he was to have asked me if he should get married, 
I would have told him no. Ah, I don't know what to say there. The next of our gay couple is Daniel, who is 27. He's an interesting character. He's from Ireland. He's into his holistic stuff. Very much at one with nature. Very fun loving, looking for a romance, looking to have children. And yeah, he's not looking for the one night stands or the few month flings. He's looking for a serious relationship. I'm just worried about the age difference here. But they seem to, they seem to want the same things, him and Matt. So this would be quite interesting to see how this actually pans out and whether they're attracted to each other. Hmm, yeah, we'll see. Fast forward. When it came to Daniel telling his parents that he was getting married, his mum was in shock gobsmacked his dad thought he was joking and that was the end of that clip so we'll never know when it came to the wedding day of Morag and Luke her reaction when she walked down well sorry his reaction when she walked down the aisle was one to say wow She's very pretty. Her reaction was very much, she was chatting as she walked down the aisle, putting a smile on her face to try and hide her disappointment. Because deep down, she wanted the big shoulders, the muscly guy with thighs bigger than her waist. That was her description. Something of that nature anyway. She did make the guests smile and laugh because she did crack one or two jokes as she's walking down the aisle. So, as I mentioned, she was disguising what she really felt. Um, The families all seemed to be very smiley and jokey. They seemed to get on, so that was a good sign already. Um, But, oh, this one, I think we're going to have to wait and see. She actually had a decanter full of alcohol that she drank just before saying her vows to calm her nerves and everybody laughed it off but boy oh god that says a lot after tying the knot when speaking to the camera Morag the words to use were I don't exactly want to rip his clothes off yeah that's the words she used and then behind that she said I didn't exactly get what I ordered oh my goodness I oof Oh, oh, I have no words. We're just going to have to wait and see. I'm, I'm a little worried for him. Fast forward to the wedding reception. Now, it started off with Luke asking Morag whether she was okay. And what came out of her mouth next, I, I wasn't expecting. She said she was bored. That was a shocker. Oh my God. Who says that? I'm bored. That's a little embarrassing to me. Anyway, coming away from that, the next conversation was about his background, what he does for a living. He says he works as a children's home manager. And um, the next question she asked was, so... Do you like children? Do you want children? And he said, yes. She turned around and said, I don't. Oh my goodness me. What the hell has happened? How? How How did the matchmakers get this wrong? Do they not ask this on their application form? Whether people want children just in general? Isn't that the norm to ask that question? When we go out on dates, we normally ask that question. So how is it that they've got this wrong. Oh, I'm confused. I'm totally confused. This is what's important to Luke. This is a deal breaker. How how, how we got here? The next thing that happened was Luke's mother had a word with Morag privately saying about 
her being a good fit for her son. But at the same time, she was also putting a lot of pressure on Morag, as in, you being here is making him happy. I want to see him smile again, virtually is what she was trying to say, getting back his confidence all over again. She wants to see more of what today bought in regards to bringing him out of his shell. And she's gone and put that all on Morag to do. That, to me, ooh, don't do that. Don't do that. It's not her job. It's not her job. The poor girl barely knows him. But you want her to build him up. Oh, this is not looking good. And at the same time, she's not aware that they've already had a conversation about her not wanting children. So that's already already a, a strike. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm concerned. We're just going to have to wait and see what the coming weeks bring. Fast forward to Matt and Daniel's wedding day. Um, Daniel was a groom in that case. And um, him walking down the aisle... Both sides of the family were very warm and welcoming, so that was a good start already. It was actually during the wedding clip itself that Daniel's parents were a little concerned about the age gap, but um, they were very much in the mindset of, let's wait and see. When Matt saw Daniel walk down the aisle, he was, he was a little concerned, because I'm sure he was looking at more the age gap, not knowing how old Daniel was but he put a smile on his face nonetheless. Now, when it came to reciting their vowels, things started to warm up between them. Matt became much more relaxed, much more sensual, and Daniel reciprocated. So that was a good, that was a good start. When it came to exchanging the kiss, that was actually longer than I expected. They seemed to be into each other at that point. Fast forward to the wedding reception. I can't really say too much on this one. Not much happened. It was very cordial. Everybody got on. It was quite a nice occasion. Yeah, both families seemed to get on. Matt and Daniel seemed to be getting much closer as well. So that was a good thing. Um, The only one concern I would probably say was more Matt's mum she was still concerned about whether this is going to work out or not so she had a lot of trepidation in regard to that but besides that everything was good so again we're just gonna have to wait and see how these two get on in the coming weeks so we come to the end of today's review if you like it so far please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time